In today's video we are going to go on Arid and we're going to go from nothing to getting very geared quite quickly. We will fight rich groups, build a nice base and progressing the map and even countering horde beacons. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. You guys are showing tremendous support lately and I really appreciate it. Also subscribe to not miss any future videos, there's a high percentage of you guys watching right now that aren't subscribed. Last video's giveaway winner is shown now and today we're going to run another one which is a blossoming sushi chef hat. To win this make sure that you've liked, subscribed and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning and I would like to shout out each member for their support. Alright boys, we joined Arid. Now currently I'm gonna be solo, but uh, I'm gonna be a duo later on. But I'm gonna just get myself a head start. Now this server does have a vault, it is five times loot. It is probably one of the most populated Arid servers that there are right now. And it's still quite early, so I assume more people will join even later on. What we're going to do today is we're just going to try to get ourselves a base down. Obviously try to find some PvP, maybe do some raiding, that would be good. I'm gonna get myself the tools first, there's no pocket knife here, but... Honestly, the important stuff are the saw and the hammer. So I'm just gonna go straight to Tamara. Hopefully that um, I'll get myself a gun and not die. That would be pretty good. So let's just get over there. I want to build a base. Probably today I'll build it on the mountain between Tamara and Airfield. I think that would be uh, a pretty good location. Hopefully we won't get raided. That's really the important thing. We'll obviously progress. Try to get to Fort Knell and all of that. Alright, there's actually shots. I think that's a... Uh... Yeah, LSR. This could be going very wrong. We might just get over there and just die instantly. Don't have a weapon yet. I think they were at the top as well. Oh yeah, they're TPing. I heard that. And yeah, they're still PvPing between each other. Come on, man. Please give me a gun. I'm begging for a gun. Yeah, Zo oh yeah, there we go. Zolash. Perfect. I think they're at the very top. Oh, yeah, there's a smoke here. Yeah, I have no idea where they are. There's a loot pile over here. I'm gonna check that out. Oh yeah, there- Oh my god, there is a pretty good loot pile. Let's put them in vault, just in case we die. Oh yeah, this dude is pushing. I think he's naked though. Yeah, this was the guy that had this loot, basically. Let's take this loot. Oh, he's up there. Bro, how what? Okay, he killed me through. Alright, great. Great start. At least we did vault two guns, so... The rucksack. Hey, that's AG-19 loot. Kinda sucks that we died though. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for Unturned? Then look no further, because I got the best option for you, which is Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is very easy to learn, the navigation is super user friendly and not hard at all to master. The servers all have high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own network a while ago, I had no clue how to do anything, but after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world, and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Ark, and also Minecraft. A game changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Also, if you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LGG for 30% off and let's get straight back into the action. An airdrop is going. I think that's gonna go at the main city. Yeah, so I did loot the, um, the airfield a little bit. Got myself some guns, coyote pack, a helmet. Nothing that insane, but got myself actually a lot of guns, so that's pretty nice. But my next step is I'm gonna try to build a base. It's gonna get dark soon anyway, so might as well build a base. And then afterwards, we'll look for PvP, so that if we do get ourselves a good kill, then we would have somewhere to depot the loot. Alright, so one by one base is done. Now it's time to start roaming around, getting as much kills as possible, getting as much loot. I'm gonna obviously progress, try to get myself night vision first of all. Shouldn't be hard at all, especially now that there are zombies that literally drop night vision parts. And we'll obviously try to progress with the keys, try to get grenades perhaps, or a rescue saw. And let's hope we get ourselves a, a good run today. Alright, nobody's in Samara. My duo did join. Got himself a gun as well. We're currently looting around. Nobody here, so I'll probably go to the town, like the main city now, and hope that there's somebody there. I really want to get as much PvP as possible today, to be honest. I haven't played Arid in a while, so it's nice to, to come back. Alright, so I've been collecting dog tags. Got 20, which is enough to get ourselves a toolbox, which is essential to making night vision and a lot of other stuff. So we got that, and I think somebody is raiding. But yeah, it's not our one by one, thankfully. Alright, so we're trying grenades here for uh, getting ourselves the next key. We're gonna have to get a bit more, though. What? There's a- Hello there. There's a naked guy here. He didn't have anything, bro. He had three dog tags. Insane loads. 
We're looking around for more grenades. Uh, should break very soon, but we still gotta find a bit more. Alright, there we go. It broke. Alright, let's go. Key obtained. So now we can go to the AGs. Don't have to break anything else. Thankfully. There's a dude there, dead. He had he had a pistol and a bunch of dog tags. There's a dude there. Let's right, see what he had. He had some stuff by the looks of it. Yeah, he had an empty Zolash, a bunch of clothes. We'll take it and just salvage them, but... Yeah, nothing that good. An empty Zolash is crazy. You're finding, like, a lot of very low-geared players. I want to know where the good-geared players are, man. Just finding these random people with absolutely nothing good. Alright, got night vision ready. Let's go. We're gonna vault that. Our one by one is starting to, to get a little bit cramped up. We have literally no more that we can play stuff. Trying to get some nice loot, so starting to progress quite nice. We're gonna TPA back. Currently, we're at the main city. I don't think anybody is there either. Yeah, we're back. There's a toaster here, bro. Insane loot. But yeah, very soon we're gonna start doing the AG17 run, and then we'll get the RS2 key. Then AG18 and 19, obviously, dead zone runs. Would be great if we get ourselves a military, a rewire kit on our first run. Obviously, enough roll of lead, so that'll be... That would be pretty nice. AG18 run. I'm gonna get AG19. Key, I still don't have a gas mask yet though, but it's nice to get some loot from here. Maybe some guns, some ammo, and some stuff like encrypted transmitters and all of that. So that we can maybe do hard beacons later on, but yeah, they could be very useful. Ammo belts, cable, copper wire. Very nice. This is five times loot. It's actually kind of easy to progress. It's not really taking us long at all. There are some shots going on. LSI. I'm gonna TPA to my teammate. I think he's close. Yeah, we also heard GP shots, by the way. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. Uh, we TP'd. If we got a GP this early, that would be huge. Uh, there's some shots going on. Yeah, somebody just died. I'm getting shot at. Yeah, GP is shooting at us. Oh, he's right up there. He's on the overpass. I'm gonna push up. All right, he's dead. Oh, is there still more? There's still another dude on the other side. Let's med up. He had a Zolash mod. I don't know which one. That's AG19 loot, bro. That's really good. Yeah, I got him reloading. There we go. I'm gonna push up a little bit. I don't even have a full mag. Where the hell did he go? Oh, there's a dead... Oh, there we go. We got ourselves another gun. Wait, did he bleed out? Wait, what? I think he died. Or so Oh, no, they're TPing. I heard them. Yeah, they're right here. One dead. There's one more. Where the- Oh, there he is. Oh, he's dead. Let's go. Oh, there's still one more. I need some med up. Bro, I got a refill. Come on, man. Refill. There we go. How many people are there? Yeah, he's right there. Bro, die. Oh, nice. My teammate got him. Bro, I think we killed them all. Bro, how many people were here? My teammate killed another dude as well. There were so many. Oh yeah, he's getting bro, GPTX. Bro, we got four canal loot. Alright, yeah, we gotta take all of this and we gotta run away. We gotta home. Bro, that's incredible. That's so much loot. That's really good guns as well, man. With just two random Zolashes. We got so much stuff. Oh, that's PMC. I thought they were biohazard for a second. They're not though. Alright, so run away and we'll go back to base. Alright, so we're gonna work on base, because it's uh, too small, we don't have anywhere to put anything. So that's that's what I'm gonna do now. I don't even have enough space to pick up all of the logs, to be honest. I'm really happy we got this GP, man. It's such a good gun, I think that's one of my favorite guns on Aerith. And the TX is my favorite SMG as well. So having that is huge. Yeah, we upgraded the base to a 2 by one at least, I know it's nothing that insane, but... Later on, we'll probably just upgrade it, like, tremendously, even upgraded to brick and so on. But for now, we're not really gonna worry on that. Alright, so my teammate has been catching up a bunch of clay. We're gonna start upgrading this base to uh, stone very soon, to brick. But we gotta get ourselves a uh, lot of charcoal. That's a there's some shots going on at uh, tomorrow, I think. Wait, what? Bro, there's a mega- Bro, somebody's doing a hard beacon! Bro, there's somebody doing a hard beacon in here right now, the mega zombie is on me. I gotta- I gotta try to find them and kill him, bro. We could get ourselves such easy loot. 
What? Where are they? I don't hear any steps. I don't hear no shots. Nothing. What? Oh, wait. Th that zombie threw a rock at the other direction. So that means that there's somebody back there. And yeah, they're probably looking for him. Oh, yeah. They TP. They're right there. Yeah, so it's a duo. Okay, so the mega zombie respawned and teleported close to them. What? Yeah, I'm telling my teammates, so he TPs. I don't want to die and accidentally lose this. We gotta kill him and then we gotta kill the mega zombie. I oh, yeah, they're shooting him down. Oh, bro, he just died to the zombie. Wait, we gotta kill the other one then. Oh, my teammate has no ammo. There you go. Yeah, he's shooting him down. Yeah, the hard beacon is right here. Oh, he TP'd back. Oh, he's gonna run back here though. Wait, let's kill him. Now let's kill the other dude before he TPs back. He's running away. Bro, he's just running away. Oh, he's dead. There we go. Wait, let's kill him. Alright. Let's go get the loot from the horde. I don't know if it was a distress or a normal horde. I really hope it's a normal horde, man. But whatever it is, it's good because it's easy loot. Oh, there's still another zombie back there. Alright, let's take him out. Bro, it didn't pop yet, I think. I don't even... Oh yeah, pop there, there it is. Okay, bro, there's actually... Yo, filters, let's go. Alright, let's take everything. Yeah, some really good clothes. I'm gonna void this. We got some roll of lead as well. I'm gonna go see what the dude had that I killed. Let's med up. I think my teammate looted the first dude. The one that died to the zombie, but we gotta see what this guy had. Then we'll run back to home. Right, his loot is here. Alright, let's take everything, lovely. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, dead zone time. First dead zone run. Let's hope we get something good. I just want to get myself enough roll of lead, honestly, from here. That's the only thing I want so that we can do AM Fort Canal runs. Obviously, we need to get HQ fabric as well so that we can do biohazard outfit. Somebody was here. There's loot on the floor. He could have died, though, because it seems like it was just a full outfit and some tools. Like, they came in here, killed a few zombies, vaulted whatever they got, and died. Make ourselves a better vest. Let's go. Oh, there's a Koba crystal there. We'll take that. But yeah, today is actually... We're doing quite well. We got a lot of high tier loot just from PvP. The Tord Beacon was actually huge as well. I'm gonna get as much guns as possible. Let's kill these zombies. Because we'll never know if we're gonna need more guns and all of that. But there, there's MKP parts. So my teammate has been farming a lot of clay. And we're gonna build a second base very close to the one that we already have. And it's just going to be full brick. So that's currently what my teammate is working on. Trying to get as much loot as possible. Let's kill this dude. More HQ, roll of lead, some mag boxes, meds. Let's take that. All right, let's kill this dude. Another Zolash, CW. Yeah, it's pretty alright run. I really wanted to get either reloading tools or a rewire kit from this. So now I didn't get any. Zolash drum, that's nice. Video receivers. Ammo belts. We'll take those as well, obviously. Dragonov. What? Okay. Well, that one was empty, so somebody definitely dropped that. So someone was here not too long ago. Yeah, we need eight roll of lead, which is actually a lot. But from that horde, we already got a few. And there's a better helmet here as well. We'll take that 100%. That's where it... I got so many guns, so... Let's see what's up here. Usually there's more stuff up here. Alright, yeah. Um, nothing that good. This one. More roll of lead, though. Alright, let's see if there's another Dragonov up here. I absolutely love that gun, but nope. Alright, so let's go to the safe zone and let's go home. Not a bad run, though. Not a bad run. Could have been much worse. But we got ourselves a full inventory. That's really what matters, honestly. Alright, so I've farmed a lot of wood. This is all going to go into charcoal for the clay. <laughs> I actually did get quite a lot. Got like 100 logs. Or even more, probably. Our base is super cramped up. We barely have anything, any storage, anything to, to actually place it all in. Alright, we're back. Yeah, he's just, I think... Oh, he got me an axe. Nice. That's good. It's gonna be much easier than you having to use a saw to chop down all of those trees. Oh, my, that's a lot of clay. Damn. Alright, brick base is starting to look pretty nice, man. Floors are placed. So this is um, almost all of the pillars still. I don't know how big he wants to make it, honestly, but we have so much clay. I'm gonna let him build it. I'm just gonna continue looting around, probably. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to when this base is finished. Wait, someone just died to a landmine. What? I'm gonna see... Wait, right, he died. He may have set some loot. Let's kill the mega zombie. There we go. Let's pick up all of the load. There's some RPG parts. I'm gonna see where he died. I have no idea if it's close. It is somewhere around tomorrow, because that, that sounded very close, but... 
I don't know if maybe it's like at the entrance. It sounded like it came from here, like next to this entrance. Yeah, there's a loot pile over there. I gotta be careful because he died on the loot. He died on the landmine, so that means that the loot pile is on a landmine. So that's a hidden landmine. But, uh, yeah, he doesn't have anything that crazy. He had a stack of logs, which is good. That's one charcoal. And he had a bunch of junk. Alright, well, nothing that good. Mecha Zombie had better loot. Alright, so I got a lot of metal from dog tags, I traded them and we're making as much gates, doors as possible so that we're not gonna do anything with the not even pillars or doors, obviously. Even storage, we're probably trying to make it all metal. Gonna take us a while because it's really not that easy to actually get this amount of metal, but shouldn't be a problem anyway. It'll look good and it'll be much more protected, which is what we need. Alright, so the brick base is done. It's two floors, fully honeycombed. Uh, we're gonna start moving the load very soon as well. Made myself an industrial box. We could put it in here. Looks very nice. We could put the toolbox here as well. But yeah, we got ourselves a pretty strong base. I'm really happy with it. Let's just put these in here and we'll start moving the load uh, very shortly. Alright, so we saw some people are trying to chase them down. I don't know. They're kind of far away, but... Maybe we'll get to kill him. Yeah, he is he shooting at us? Yeah, he is. Oh, he's dead. There we go. One tap. Let's see what bro had. Hopefully he had something good. He was shooting at us with a Zolash, I think. So, I should have some loot at least. Oh, there's still another dude. Wait, I'm getting... Sh oh, there's a dude there. Oh, one tapped as well, bro. Destroyed. Let's see what this guy had. Yeah, he had a Zolash full outfit. Two gauze cans. Not that bad. There's still more. Oh yeah, my teammate killed him. The other dude that I killed, I think he only had a pistol, so I don't think we're even gonna bother to loot him. There's a dude there. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, this was the guy that was shooting at us from a, from a distance. Let's see what he had. Seems kinda geared, so... He had a backpack. Actually, my guy had a pistol only. Never mind, my guy did not have anything good. Alright boys, so after that, I did leave the server. If you guys want to see more in the server, maybe we can do this as a series, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. After that, we did leave with the pretty good loot. We did craft a biohazard set, but we didn't get to do a fourth canal run. It was a lot of fun, especially the PvP on the server was actually really entertaining. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!